In this video, I'm going to show you how to complete a mid print filament change using the Sonic Pad. As of the most recent updates, the M600 filament change command is fully supported on the Sonic Pad, but you'll need to do a little bit of setup work in your slicer of choice to make it work. If you haven't updated your firmware in a while because you're worried about losing any of your configuration, then check out my update video where I show you how to do it without losing any important information. You'll find links to that video and all the other videos in my Sonic Pad series in the description below. For this guide, I'll be showing how to use Cura to insert the M600 command, but other slicers can do the same thing and the process is very similar. Firstly, import the model that you'd like to print and then slice it as usual using all of the print settings you'd like to use. Once it's sliced, instead of saving the file, click on the preview tab at the top. Here we can use the slider on the right to find the layout that we want our new color to start printing. Once we have this information, we can set up a post-processing script by selecting Extensions, Post-Processing and Modify G-Code. With the window that then appears, we have the option of adding in some information to the G-Code file that our slicer outputs to do some specific things. What we want our printer to do is to stop printing, move the nozzle away from the print, maintain the temperature of the nozzle and the bed, and then have the option to tell the pad when we've finished changing the filament so that it can start printing again. Luckily, all of this is taken care of inside the Sonic Pad now, and all we have to do to activate the process is to insert the M600 command. Click to add a script, then select filament change. Here we need to change a few fields to make sure that things happen the way we want them to. First, make sure that enable is ticked at the top and then overtype the layer figure with the layer number you want the change to happen. I've tested whether the change is supposed to happen before or after the layer is printed and it gets a little bit complicated. However, all you really need to know is that if you want your new color to print on say layer 14, then put layer 14 in this field. The printer will pause before layer 14 so that you can change the filament. Unfortunately, due to the way that Clipper and the Sonic Pad are set up, none of the other fields have any effect on the way that the filament change happens, except for the last two, where you can insert some text before and after the filament change. What we can do if we don't like anything about the M600 macro that Creality have baked in, is add our own custom macro before or after the filament change to fine tune things. I won't go into macros here as I've already done a video on it, which you can find in my intermediate series linked in the description below. However, one example of what you can do is to add a filament purge after the M600 line with a macro that details what you want to happen. This would be useful if you're using a printer where pushing the filament in manually is difficult and you need the extruder to turn. You can just use these options unticked though and just simply use the standard process if it works for you. I'd advise giving this a try first to see if it works for you before making things too complicated. Try a simple print with an early filament change so that you can dial things in before getting too adventurous. Remember to slice your model again before saving as the post-processing script won't be added if you don't. It's also a good idea to then delete the script when you're done so it isn't added to any new files you slice. Check out these playlists for more guides on the Sonic Pad and don't forget to hit subscribe so that you see any new videos I release. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.